Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get CyanogenMod's new Jello browser. Now the team at Cyanogen has been working on this browser for almost a year now, so you already know it's going to be a good one. But basically, they built their own custom version of Chrome without any Google services, and they did that by starting with sources from Chromium, the open source project. The name of this new browser is Jello, that's G-E-L-L-O, and the only two requirements to install it are that you're running Android 6.0 or higher, and you have unknown sources enabled in settings. Aside from that, just head to step one in my full tutorial to grab a copy of the APK, and once you've done that, just tap the download complete notification. From here, press install, then you'll be just about ready to try it out. Now for the most part, Jello's gonna render web pages just like Chrome would, but it's the extra features that make this browser worthwhile. For instance, you've got swipe navigation features and an inverted color night mode, but all these things need to be set up first. So tap the three dot menu button at the top of the screen, then head to settings. From here, you can choose your homepage and search engine, but the first thing I would do is tap this edge navigation option. Set this to navigate across history, and from now on, you'll be able to swipe to go back or forward. Aside from that, you can enable Jello's immersive mode feature to get more screen real estate. You can have the status bar change colors with compatible websites. But then the last interface option is rather interesting. If you enable night mode, all the colors on web pages will be inverted, which is great for reading in the dark. With everything set up though, you're ready to try out your new browser. Like I said, the experience is going to be pretty similar to Chrome overall. But my favorite thing here is definitely this edge navigation stuff. It's just a natural way to go forward and back, and it's got some slick animations going on. But hey, for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.